So I want to see what I can do with the dissolve blend mode. A lot of people feel that it's useless and don't know what they might use it for. Um, I have a full color image here and it's made of red, green, and blue color separations. The red is linear dodged or added onto the green. I'm going to turn that to normal so you can see what that looks like. And then I'm going to set the opacity to zero. The green is linear dodged onto the blue. I'm going to set that to normal and set that opacity to zero. And the blue is uh, sitting at the bottom. And I'm going to set that opacity to zero. Now, what we want to do is see what we can do with reassembling that image using the dissolve blend mode. So let's start at the top. Red, opacity is at zero. Oh, I want to set the blend mode to dissolve. There it is. Now, opacity is at zero. As I come up, you can see that little sprinkling of pixels. And as I go higher, more and more come on. And at no point do any ever go off. Just more and more come on until when I reach 33% right there, um, one third of the frame is covered by red pixels. Now let's move on to the green color step, which is down beneath it. Put that to dissolve. The opacity is at zero. Now it's at 10%. Now it's at 18%. It's rising, it's rising, it's rising, it's rising. It's rising. I see no sign of green. And 29, 30, 31, 33. Now watch what happens when I pass 33. Boom. All of a sudden we see signs of green. And um, as I take it up to 67%, which is two-thirds, you now have one-third red and one-third green. Now the blue wants to come up as well. And um, it's at 0%. It's at 15%. It's at 37%. It's at 62%. I see no sign of blue. Then when I pass the 67% mark, there comes the blue until finally at 100% the blue has filled in as well. So now we have an image which is one-third red, one-third green, and one-third blue. And if I zoom in on it, it looks like this. It's kind of interesting. So you see the way that that random pattern works. Now the whole thing relies on the fact that Dissolve uses the same pattern for every layer. It doesn't make a random different pattern with every layer. If it did, I wouldn't be able to do this. So that's kind of an interesting possibility that you can do with Dissolve. Um, let's try something even more interesting. Okay, let's see what I can do with Dissolve some more. Uh, I have an image with four layers, and you can see over here that the layers are full of colors. And the colors are um, green, yellow, blue, and red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to image size, I'm going to shrink this image to a tiny 16 by 16. It's a little tiny thing over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set the dissolve percentages. So let's dissolve. 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 And the last one doesn't need to be dissolved. The first one is uh, 25. The next one will be 50. The next one will be 75. And the last one will be left at 100%. Now what I'm going to do is layer flatten, make it one level, and image size 1024. 1024 and instead of by cubic I'm going to make it nearest neighbor preserve sharp edges okay great now we have um, a 16 by 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 by 16 set of blocks okay so let me duplicate that and I'm gonna set the bottom layer to um, black and then I'm going to make 
four more layers. One, two, three, four. In layer one, I'm going to say edit fill with a pattern. And the pattern is going to be tile one, which I've prepared. And it repeats 16 times. Layer two is going to fill with edit fill pattern tile 2. That's a 16 by 16 repeat. Edit fill uh, tile 3 and edit fill pattern tile 4. Great. You can count those if you like. 16 by 16 in all of them. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, put this guy on top, and um, I'm going to go uh, first red, magic wand, tolerance, zero, uh, anti-alias, contiguous, no, we don't want contiguous, um, and select that. Now if I touch red, all the reds should be selected. Now if I go to... Uh, layer 4 and I ask for a layer mask I get one. Now if I go to layer 3 that was red I'm gonna go to green now oops I was I gotta be here control D green now there we go uh, layer mask uh, blue layer mask and I shouldn't need a layer mask for the last one. Turn that off and you can see that it's made a crazy loop-the-loop -loop out of uh, those things. Uh, once again um, there's one, there's another, there's another of course you're seeing it through the layer mask, there's another that's the layer mask that put it all together and when you put all of these together, they make that interesting kind of maze. So there is another use for the dissolve blend mode.